Hi guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal and for this video today we're going to be taking a look at how to record a voiceover style animation video or how to make a voiceover style animation video using just Canva which is of course such a powerful and amazing uh, cloud-based graphic design editor. Now it's you can actually record audio directly into Canva by giving it your browser permission and whatnot but I would say this whole editing process is very basic, right? If you want to produce a more advanced video and really have a lot of functionalities, you're not gonna wanna do it in Canva, but you can do it in Canva and it's easy to do it in Canva. So there's a pro and a con there, but certainly for audio, I would really recommend uh, recording your audio out of Canva and uploading it. So that's what I've done here. I've recorded this little 15 second voiceover demo. I'm gonna give you guys a listen to it and we're gonna just upload that to Canva and then set our uh, audio uh, just to the back of it. And, um, just want to say as well that you want to do a little bit of um, editing usually on your voiceover. So I've just used Reaper and I've given a 15 second recording just for the demo here. Hello, this is Daniel Rosal and this YouTube channel is called Daniel's Tech World. And for this video, I'm going to be showing how to create a voiceover animation style video using just Canva and it's going to require uploading this audio file into the timeline and then adding some frames in order to overlay them with the video. And we're All right, so it's about 15 seconds. So as I mentioned in the voiceover, uh, we're going to want to add some stuff and just to keep it relatively short because rendering in Canva, remember that when you're rendering a video or creating a video in Canva, you are rendering in the cloud as opposed to rendering in your local video editor. So it can be a somewhat slow process. The first thing I'm going to want to do for my Canva home screen, home screen is click on create blank video 1920 by 1080. Now, obviously, if you want to create this in 4K, you'd want to uh, choose a different template and size it for that resolution. But for these kind of animation style videos, I'd say it would be kind of a waste to uh, to do these in 4K. Your viewers are not going to notice and you're just going to end up with a needlessly big file. So the first thing I'm going to do in this particular workflow is I'm just going to upload um, this voiceover into my timeline. So you don't need to actually click into the audio tab. You can just do upload files and I'm going to just find this in my thing. You see here the record yourself button, that's where you that's where you would be clicking if you want to record directly into Canva. Uh, so I'm just going to find this on my computer. So I've just pointed into the directory where I saved that voiceover Canva animation demo. It's a 7.5 megabyte WAV file. And uh, just remember when you're exporting better to use uncompressed audio for the best results. So you can see it's gonna upload pretty quickly with my internet connection here and uh, 28 seconds. And I can actually, it's a nice feature, I can play it back video. I'm going to be showing how to create a voiceover animation. So just useful to verify that you have uploaded the uh, correct file. So what I'm gonna do firstly is drop this down into the audio layer of my video here. And this is where I would say it gets a little bit kind of unintuitive because you kind of wonder what am I doing here with the various dragging and dropping that I'm doing. So I'm gonna play through the timeline over animation style video using just Canva. So here's where I'm going to say that the layout of Canva is not so intuitive. So firstly, what you wanna do is make sure that your little cursor here at the bottom is set at the start and then you want to click on your voiceover and then it's going to position it at the zero position so i'm going to undo that by deleting this from the quote unquote timeline and you can see that my um my cursor here has kind of moved into probably about two seconds into the video so if i were to click on canva animation demo now it's going to start the voiceover at the 2.4 second position and uh, that's obviously not going to look great and if you try to rescale it the problem here is your canva is actually kind of editing it so what you really want to do assuming that your voiceover is supposed to come in at the start you want to make sure that your cursor is two zero and then you can rather than drag and drop you can also just do one click and i've just clicked on that and then it's positioned it at zero and now we can play Hello, this is Daniel Rosal, and this YouTube channel is called Daniel's Tech World. So what I really don't like about the feature here, now I'm not going to make this video just grumbling about Canva, is that for me, I like to listen to what's coming ahead in the voiceover so that I can sort of think about what I want to put next. But because by default, there's only five seconds on the timeline, because by default, you get a five second clip here, uh, it's just going to cut off like that at five seconds. And, you know, one kind of hack, if you want to hack, is to just like stretch this out. So I can do that to be showing how and now listen to my whole voiceover. But by default, um, you kind of have to use workarounds like this in order to play the and it also contracts the voiceover, right? So you can see that 
as I'm reducing this first frame, it's automatically shortening the voiceover. So I don't think the way they lay out the timeline is very intelligent or makes a lot of sense from an editing workflow standpoint, but whatever, that's the way they've done it. So what I'm going to do is uh, just kind of play around. I've got a five second first frame and I'm going to um, just create and really kind of you can do anything here. I can, I'm just going to, this won't be a very logical video, but I'm just going to grab this um, stock imagery and this stuff's all coming from the Canva stock library which you can access by clicking on elements and you can get photos videos we're going to use a little bit of both or just kind of create your own graphics I'm just going to stretch out this salt dispenser and if we just do it like this I'm going to rewind hello this is Daniel Rosal and this it's just going to be or we can go for also this so they one of one of the um sort of Things is not so great. Once you've added a second uh, frame to your uh, video animation project, you're able to create transitions, but um, there's no way to kind of create an easy fade in effect without using uh, workarounds. So this is kind of a hack is, you know, you might want to have a black frame for like one second and then fade into this. And that would also achieve that fade transition, but that's a lot of work. So I, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to just, gonna, this is going to be the most random video ever. We're going to have this kind of like, we can have this finger, or we can do a heart. Um, and what I actually want to demonstrate with the static image on a static image is that we can animate in the heart, right? So the heart's above the salt and uh, we can click on the animate button and I can just kind of fade in this element. Um, once you have a pro canvas description, you can change the speed this happens at as well. So I've gone for kind of a slow speed. And let's just say that's going to be our first frame and just play that back, see how that looks. Hello, this is Daniel Rosal and this YouTube channel is called Daniel's Tech World. And for this video... So we can see we've got video. some um, zooming going on and we've got the heart. So I'm just going to contract this a little bit and we're going to create our next frame. For frame number two, I'm going to click on add a page and that's going to pop up another five seconds. I'm going to be showing how to create a voiceover animation style video. And the same thing, it's kind of released five more seconds of her voiceover that we can listen to. So I'm going to click on elements and this time just to keep things, um, maybe let's keep going with the salt theme of this video so far. I'm going to add a bit of stock video footage. So you want to click on to video and uh, you can see here there's just random stock clips of a salt dispenser. This guy's pouring out a salt. This is something I really like about Canva is you can really use multiple elements. So I can use this stock video of a salt in the upper left and I can have a background or whatever or I can just stretch that out to fill the canvas in which case we're basically going to get our five seconds of this now what you can do as well is once you've got between your two frames on the project you can add a transition and in order to do this you kind of have to hover for a second between the two frames and then you've got your add transition it should show up shortly And then you've got your transition menu for between the first two slides. And I go for kind of a slide transition. And again, we can control the duration of that. So I'm just going to play that back now and see how that looks. World. And for this video, I'm going to be showing how to create a voiceover animation style video. So I'm just going to do one more um, frame and then we're not going to... Actually, it's about a 20 second voiceover. So if I add... You can see just by adding... Um, enough four second, five second increments. I've just kind of require uploading this audio file into the timeline. So this is the most intelligent way to do it. But if that audio kind of limit thing is bugging you as well, and you want to just be able to play it back kind of ahead, you can just like to do what I just did there and add four blank pages and then kind of fill in the gaps. Um, the only thing that that mightn't work for is uh, if you want to then subsequently change the durations you're gonna sort of like undo that sort of fix, if you will. So I'm gonna just actually add this one here and I'm gonna delete this one here, delete page. And I'm just gonna to do two more elements in this video and I'm gonna just stretch the second element out so that it fits up the video timeline. Let's go for another stock video, like kind of, I don't know, playing. So I'm just gonna stretch out and I'm gonna move this guy here. And now I'm just going to put in, I just want to show a graphic element as well for this video. And for the last nine seconds, I'm going to say something like Daniel's tech world. And I'm just doing this so you, you can see, I have like a networking room or something in the background like that. And just put up like a background effect like this. So we have now four elements. We have a static, for a record. static photo. It's Daniel's Tech World. And for this video, I'm going to be showing how to create a voiceover animation style video using just Canva. And it's going to require adding some frames in order to overlay them with the video. 
Okay, so that's the end of my voiceover, and then we can just fade. If you really want to do a fade to black manually again, one way you can do this is add a short black uh, one second thing, and then we just need to add, and so it's a little bit tricky to get this, a dissolve out to black, and you can even make that really shorter. So let's just look at the end of that video again. Recording time of about 20 seconds for this video. And then we're gonna fade out to black. Okay, so that's uh, my project. What I'm gonna do now is download this. So click on the share icon, click on download, and then by default, it's gonna suggest you as a um, MP4 project. And you can manually up res to 4K by just moving the slider forward, and then it's gonna basically export all those um, items up in 4K. But again, as I said, I recommend 1080p. You can choose to download the pages as separate files, uh, but by default it's gonna go as you wanna have all the frames in your video. So don't change any of these because we've laid this out in order to coincide with the voiceover duration. Gonna click on the download button and then basically what you have to do is wait. So what's going on now and the sort of like Canva world of magic is uh, the equivalent process of rendering a video, right? We have video from Canva and audio elements and we're now rendering them all together. So just as this would take a little bit of time on your computer, it takes a little bit of time in the cloud. I'm gonna make one more criticism of Canva in this video and I would say that seeing as we're effectively doing cloud video editing with this feature, it would be great if they could back their rendering engine with like decent computing power because I mean, it's not the worst, but it's definitely kind of a little bit laggy, right? I could probably, this is a 20 second video using my computer and my graphics card, I can probably render this in about 10 seconds and it's probably gonna be more like three or four minutes. Um, and obviously if you're producing videos in the minutes, that's going to certainly uh, certainly add up. But I'm gonna wait for this to finish um, its rendering process. When that happens, it will automatically download and then I can just open the video to show you that it's played. And then of course you could upload this to YouTube or wherever you're uh, showing the video and publish it. Okay, so the uh, process, the download process has concluded. The MP4 has opened up and I'm gonna just show you guys quickly uh, what this project looks like. And I'm using on my local computer MP4 file and let's take it from the top. Hello, this is Daniel Rosal, and this YouTube channel is called Daniel's Tech World. And for this video, I'm going to be showing how to create a voiceover animation style video using just Canva. And it's going to require uploading this audio file into the timeline and then adding some frames in order to overlay them with the video. And we're going to go for a recording time of about 20 seconds for this video. So that's basically it. I hope this has been useful. If you're looking to edit your videos, uh, create animation voiceover videos in Canva, as I said, I don't think it's the most amazing UI that's ever been invented. I think there's a couple of things about it that are annoying, but look, in a pinch, and if you wanna work collaboratively, it does get the job done to create these uh, style of videos if that's something you're interested in doing. Thanks for watching and until the next video.